Number 48, determine the molarity of each of the following solutions. And then we have letter B. Well, letter B says that we have 0.515 grams of sulfuric acid, which is H2SO4, and it's being placed in one liter of solution. And we have to find the molarity. What's the molarity formula, guys? It is this, right? Molarity equals the moles of solute divided by the liters of solution. Now, more simply, we can always think of it as just capital M, which is always molarity in chemistry. So big M is molarity equals the moles divided by the liters. So let's just write that out. Capital M molarity is just your moles divided by your liters. Okay. Let's see, did they give us any of these two, right? Because technically we want to solve for molarity. So we want to solve for capital M. So I should know both of these. However, uh, they didn't give me a mole value, right? They gave me a gram value. Lowercase g is grams. But they did give me a liter, right? I see an L right here, liter over here. So this would be 1.00 liters. But what's the thing we got to do, guys? Oh, the first thing is we have to convert. We have to convert that 0 0.515 grams of H2SO4, not H2O, H2SO4, and we need to convert that into moles of H2SO4. Hmm, how do we do that? We've done tons of practice, right? This is going all the way to the beginning. In order to go from a grams to a mole, we could either do dimensional analysis, but we're not in that, that chapter anymore, so there's little tricks. And I put them all down here, just like kind of quick memorizing tricks, just so that you don't waste time on quizzes or exams or even homework. So just know, if you have a gram and you need to go to the moles of the same compound, this is the little thing that you're going to do. You're starting off with grams, right? And you want to get to moles. So we're going this way. So all you have to do is take that value and divide it by the molecular weight, MW, molecular weight. So I'm just going to take the number that I have, 0 0.515 grams of H2SO4, and I just have to divide by the molecular weight. But now what is the molecular weight? Remember, the molecular weight of anything is on the periodic table, right? We're using the masses on the periodic table to get to what we want, right? So we know how to do that. We've done tons and tons of problems like that. So I'm just going to do it quickly, right? Let's see if we get the same answer. So I'm just going to go on my periodic table and find out what the weight is of H2SO4. Just keep in mind that you have two hydrogens and four oxygens. So you have to multiply the weight by two and four respectively for those elements. So let's see. Uh, we have hydrogen, roughly one. I'm going to do the exact values just so I could get a more precise answer. But if you want to round, that's fine with me as well. Okay, sulfur is 32. And then we have four oxygens. So we get roughly a grand total of 98.076. If you got 98, that's fine with me. Molecular weight is always grams per mole. And that's the number that goes on the bottom. So I have 98.076, right? It's the grams divided by the molecular weight to get the moles. So let's see. 0.515 divided by 98.076. I get roughly 0 0.00525. And now that's moles of H2. SO4. Perfect. Now we found this top value. We now know that this is 0 0.00525. We can finally solve for molarity. So molarity equals 0 0.00525 divided by the one liter. Oh, well, anything divided by one is just one, right? 
So this would be 0 0.00525. Now, units for molarity, you could either do it as a capital M, anytime that you see a capital M, that stands for molarity, or since these units don't cancel out, right, they're not the same units, I can't cancel out moles with liters, you would leave it as just moles over liter. Both units are acceptable. And that's your answer. Okay. So just know in the grand scheme of things, what is a molarity? It's just telling you how concentrated a substance is. The higher the number, the more concentrated, the more destructive it would, you know, it would do in a reaction or the more destructive it would be, not it would do, because that's not proper English. The more destructive it would be in a reaction, especially if we're talking about strong acids and strong bases. Okay. So hopefully this helps. Guys, let me know in the comments what you think. Click the like button, subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 10,000, which is absolutely incredible. I'm so glad that, you know, education is still thriving. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah um i will see you guys all in the next lesson see you later